Hello everyone, Amod here from your Target Common YouTube channel. And in this video tutorial, we are going to learn the difference between null and undefined in JavaScript. This is a frequently asked interview question and also confusing for beginners. So let's start. So in JavaScript, null and undefined both are used to represent absence of value or no value. So you might be thinking if both are used for the same purpose, then why we have two different object types? A valid question. So if I answer now, I will say that null is used by JavaScript developer to inform that a variable has no value, but undefined is used by JavaScript engine to inform that a variable has no value. Don't worry if you didn't get it, I will explain with examples now. So generally, we create a variable in JavaScript and assign a value like where a is equal to 25 and I can log this variable value to console. So I'm going to use node.js to run this JavaScript file. So let me open terminal. So press control shift tilde and let me switch directory which is js basics. So you can see it is printing 25. But suppose I just declared the variable, but I'm not assigning any value to it. Let me save and rerun this program. So this time you can see it is giving me undefined. That means it has no value. Or suppose we have a function, maybe do something and this is empty. And if I call this function within console.log, so basically this function is not returning anything, but I'm calling inside console.log to print. So what do you think? What will the output? Let me save and run it. So here also we can see it's printing undefined. So you must have got idea like whenever we declare a variable, but we don't assign any value to it, then that variable will go undefined. Here we are not doing explicitly, but it is like whatever it is returning that will be stored into a variable and that will be logged. But here it is not returning anything. That's why it is giving undefined. If I add any argument like name and this name I'm going to log within my function like console.log, let me print name. And here instead of console.log, I just call do something. But I'm not passing any parameter here. This function is expecting a parameter name. But here I am not passing. If I save and run, you can see again it is printing undefined because this variable is declared but nothing was passed. So basically this name goes undefined. Or suppose I have an object like person and here I have one key name and value amoth. I will do console.log and I do person.name and I will do another console.log person dot age. Let me quickly run this program and see what is printing. So for name it is printing a mode but for the age it is giving undefined because we don't have any key within this person object. So here also it is undefined or we have an array maybe fruit and I am adding like apple then orange. If I try to log fruit of 1 and fruit of 5. So what do you think? What will you output here? Let me save and done it. So for the fruit of one, it is giving orange and fruit of five, it is giving undefined. We have only two elements in fruit, zeroth index and first index. So for fruit of one, it is giving orange, but for the fruit of five, it is undefined. We don't have any element at index five. So by all these examples, you can understand when we try to fix the value of a reference variable which is not assigned any value we are going to get undefined and this undefined is written by javascript engine now let's use null so i have a variable age and i am going to put null here that means i declared a variable and assigning a null value i am doing with an intention maybe this variable has no value as of now but in future or after some calculation it will be assigned Purposely, I am setting it as null. If I console this age, then it is going to print me null. So save it and run it. You can see it is giving null. So whatever difference I told in the beginning, like null is used by JavaScript developer to let us know that any reference variable has no value as of now. But undefined will be used by JavaScript engine to inform about any 
variable that it has no value. Let's see another point. I have a variable age which I am setting as null. Then I have another variable age 1 and I am not assigning any value to it which will be undefined by default. Now I am going to do console.log age double equal age 1. Then another console.log age triple equal age 1. What do you think? What will be the output? Let me save and run it. So first one is true, second one is false. So when we use double equal in JavaScript, that means it is going to check for value. And by the concept, both represent no value. That's why it is true. But when we use triple equals, that means it is going to check value with type. It is also called strict equality. And it seems both are not same. That's why it is giving me false. Then you might be wondering what is the type of null and undefined. So for that, we can do console.log and we have an operator type of and we can directly pass null or this variable name anything is fine and let me use console.log for undefined as well if you run this program now you can see type of null is object but type of undefined is undefined itself so you might be wondering why type of null is object this seems it is since beginning which is called a bug as well. If you read the history of JavaScript, then you can find that type of null should be null instead of object. But that is since beginning, so that's fine. But you got the information that type of both null and undefined are different. That's why triple equal gave you false. So if someone asks you when to use null and undefined, then you can say that we can use null if you want to reset or clear values or intentionally we are assigning no value then we can use null but we don't need to use undefined at least as far as i know and this is basically used by javascript engine so that's all in this video hopefully it will be helpful for you if you have any doubt please comment on this video thank you